Hi, my name is Keith Aleo, and I am Director of Percussion at the Interlochen Center for the Arts. And I'm here to talk to you about some of the instruments that maybe you're not doing, learning about in lessons or, or in your band program. And those instruments I call the complementary percussion instruments because they complement the rest of the percussion section. Those instruments are triangle, cymbals, bass drum, and tambourine. Right now I'm going to talk about bass drum and some of the things that are challenging for young students, high school, and even college age. Um, the first thing is the gear. What do you get? Um, I have a general bass drum beater. This is a Vic Firth, Tom Geiger, TG1. Then I have a pair of beaters, which are rollers, which I roll with or play articulate notes or fast pa faster passages with. And then I suggest getting TG21s, which are very hard, wood on one end and chamois on the other, wood and chamois, you can flip it over. Another important part gear for the bass drum is a stand to put the mallets on. Now, when we were in high school, we just put the mallet on the stand. And sometimes this would happen. The mallets fall off the stand. So probably in bass drum playing, beside the mallets and the drum, the most important piece of equipment is a black towel. In fact, I suggest two. One black towel for the stand with the mallets, and another black towel on top of the drum to help with muffling. Another piece of gear is a stand that you can rest your foot on to help muffle the bass drum. Now, it seems that every music program has pieces of hardware it, that have lost the other parts and, and you don't know what to do with them. And a lot of people say, well, you just throw them away. Well, actually you can use them. So I'm gonna take this, this is bottom of a snare drum stand, and I'm gonna put it here next to my bass drum. And if I have to muffle the bass drum, I'm simply gonna put my foot on the stand. Now I can bring my leg to the stand to the drum and muffle. So we talked about what gear to have, what mallets to have, black towels, trap stand, and the base of a snare drum stand to put your foot on. Now let's talk about how to play the drum. And I, the bass drum to me is almost a second conductor in marches um, or anytime there's rhythmic element. And I think the biggest challenge with bass drum is managing the sustain. The instrument sustains and how you manage that sustain and control it gives you the opportunity to be that second conductor. So I'm gonna take my general mallet and I'm gonna play the drum and I want you to notice three different sounds. Here's the center of the drum. Now I'm gonna play slightly off center. Now I'm gonna play near the edge of the drum. I don't know if you can hear it, but the center of the drum gives the strongest punch. Where slightly off center gives a bit more sustain and not as much front to the sound. And the edge of the drum produces a more thin and resonant sound. So these, none of these sounds are right or wrong, it's just what you're looking for, okay? And we're gonna talk about that when I play the etude, what part of the drum I'm gonna play on. Do I want a punchy sound? Do I want a more resonant sound? Do I want a thinner, warmer sound? Okay. So managing the muffle 
managing the sustain is done either with your leg or my second black towel or both. So if I want, you can just kind of figure this out, how many different sounds I can get. If I want a very dry sound with a lot of punch, I'm going to play in the center of the drum and mute it a lot. If I want more sustain, I'm going to play off center. Now I'm still muting it. If I want less muffle, I'm going to take my leg off of the drum. So any combination of this type of muffling and placement on the head is basically giving you an opportunity to be a creative percussionist. What kind of sound do you want? Okay. Now we've talked about that, let's talk about rolls or faster notes that you can't execute with one hand. Rolls are accomplished by starting the roll on the edges and you don't have to roll fast. Rolling fast, don't need to do it. Bass drums, you can roll slow. As I increase my volume, I'm going to move to the center. And if you noticed, I didn't muffle anything at all. I let it sustain. Now, if I wanted some more articulate passages, I might go to the center of the drum and mute the drum with my leg. These very hard mallets, chamois and wood, as I mentioned, you can use for even more dry and more articulate sounds. So, now we've talked about what gear to have, we've talked about the playing techniques, now what do you practice? And once again, I go to my 10 notes. Can I make a sound that is exactly the same with one mallet and the drum, 10 whole notes? So I'm just going to play four, and I'm going to play this maybe mezzo piano, and I'm going to look to make the exact same sound. So again, I'll let you be the judge. Did I get it exactly right? Exactly? It's harder than it looks. So I will go ahead now and play the bass drum etude. Um, there's two, the one bass drum etude and then an advanced etude. So right now I'm going to play the more beginning etude. If you notice, I'm using my muffler for the short notes and I'm going to let the drum ring for the longer notes. And if you noticed, I use the center of the head and I use slightly off center for different tones. Center is more articulate, off center is more resonant. So thank you very much and I hope this helps you with your bass drum playing.